dear multicellular organisms welcome to our zoology class in today's our zoology class we are going to discuss regarding an unique topic that is uh, characteristic features or general characters of uh, aves we knew aves commonly called as birds so these aves are comes under vertebrates and that too especially chordates so along with aves in our chordates different groups we could observe pisces reptiles amphibians mammals aves so in today's class we are going to discuss aves general characters so generally aves are chordates the prominent backbone and spinal cord is developed these aves are the birds these are developed from the triple germinal layer ectoderm mesoderm endoderm so these triple germinal layers develop the entire bird body because birds or aves comes under triploblasts or else these are called triploblastic organisms so each and every bird body is divisible into head neck thorax and abdomen and tail so the entire bird body is covered by special exoskeleton structures called feathers these feathers are around 7 or 8 types among those all feathers quill feathers are having a unique value and characteristic features in one more class we will be discussed so the major function of the feathers giving protection to the body of the bird and also helps in the flying process especially uh, these uh, exceptions uh, we could observe for normal hens and cocks and ostrich and emu etc these birds are unable to fly high those are flightless birds what is the reason internally the bird body is made by endoskeleton system that endoskeleton system is made by bones these bones are specially having uh, special type of air chambers and cavities and uh, very uh, and highly reduced bone marrow so because such type of bones are called pneumatic bones so due to these pneumatic bones the skeletal system which is made uh, inside the body of the bird that has very lesser weight so due to that less weight birds can uh, easily fly they have capability to fly and in the head the prominent neural system is developed and one pair of digital eyes are located so the vision is uh, Uh, excellent and superior even uh, from the height of different floors or several floors birds especially eagle they can sight even an ant which is moving on the earth surface so such type of uh, bright and excellent uh, what it is called unique vision digital vision we could observe external ears are absent ears are internal this is one of the characteristic feature of oviparous oviparous in the sense they lay eggs so birds comes under oviparous not viviparous so ears are responsible for detecting the different sounds and signals etc here mouth has two jaws upper jaw lower jaw each jaw is provided with the help of a sharp and lengthy bold exoskeleton called beak upper beak lower beak these both beaks are responsible for uh, perching and fighting and protection especially collecting the food or grains or nuts etc so here almost all type of birds are gramnivores they will be preferred for the uh, grains feeding process so here kidneys are located anatomically these kidneys are one pair these are metanephric the kidneys excrete the excreta uric acid percentage is more or we could observe higher in the excreta because birds comes under uricotelic organisms that phenomena is known as uricotelism and these are unisexual male and female birds are separated sexes are separated that is called sexual dimorphism in previous classes already you might have been learnt so here embryo development within the egg takes place 21 to 30 days around sexual reproduction internal fertilization parent caring is excellent and beautiful unique so 
this embryo is highly protected inside the egg different types of embryonic layers will be formed then coming to the respiratory system respiration done by lungs that is called pulmonary respiration then coming to the circulation or transportation heart is involved in the circulation heart is made by four chambers two upper chambers called auricles or atria two more lower chambers are called ventricles so these are separated with the help of septum and valves we could observe and the heart is known as double circuit heart circulation is known as double circulation because oxygen and deoxygenated oxygen rich or carbon dioxide rich or pure or impure type of bloods are separately prominently separated because those two types of blood separated and also before completing the one circulation blood enters into the heart twice because that is called a double circulation that heart is known as double circuit heart one type of circuit is a pulmonary circuit and the second type of circuit is systemic circuit so double circuit heart then coming to the class so limbs are two pairs one pair four limbs one pair hind limbs four limbs are modified into or developed into wings which are responsible for flying then hind limbs are modified into legs legs are having special toes so pentadactylic legs these uh, uh, toes are having sharpest fine and uh, what it is called highly dangerous and special structures known as claws so these claws are responsible for uh, hunting or collecting the food or fighting and also protection so entire body made up of different types of feathers we have discussed already then the excreta of the birds known as litter especially poultry litter is highly beneficial for the crops in the form of uh, manures so highly economically the litter of the poultry or the hens is valuable especially in the digestive system digestive system or gut starts from mouth and ends with anus different types of matured parts are located especially among those all gizzard gizzard is the special part which is located in the digestive system this gizzard stores the complex food particles to break down them into simpler ones temporarily and that is called partial digestion so gizzard is the special type of structure so uh, in the hens body especially we could observe we could we could touch clearly so the, those all food particles food grains will be stored in a gizzard exactly uh, below the neck but that part comes under digestive system and one more birds will be shown migration process movement of birds from one region to another region one continent to another continent one place to another place periodically or seasonal wise is known as migration migration two types immigration emigration so for the purpose of food collection of food shelter reproduction laying the eggs or else production of young ones especially to escape from the uh, adverse climatic conditions uh, from the nature different types of birds they will be perform migration or shown the migration movement from one place to another place some type of birds they will be shown migration emigration several months continuously one or two months or three months also continuously several thousands kilometers they will be flying and they will be continuing their generation so here on this board we could observe columba livia pigeon common name is pigeon scientific name is columba livia so birds also a type of several birds uh, sometimes few birds based upon their continent and region birds are having capability to learn the different types of languages or signals or uh, expressions shown by their owners if they have these birds as their pets parrot african grey parrot white parrot or normal parrot sitatula scientific name not only parrot can learn the languages even corvus splendens splendens crow crows also they can able to learn the languages if we guide or train them so mostly birds are gramnivores we told you already mostly they will be preferred eating the 
um, what it is called grains small grains or seeds and whatever it may be very rare carnivorous birds and very rare vegetative birds we could observe and we told you already parent caring is uh, excellent and highly unique so dear everybody these are the few characteristic features of uh, aves or birds so in our one more class we will meet with one more beautiful topic till then good luck